Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think that we... Oh, shit. Hi! Welcome to Just Talking. What? Oh, my God. What is Jeez. this? This is a third drink at a table for two. <laughs> Something's up. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's my God, too, guys. <laughs> uh, our, our guest this week, uh, Ryan Lynch. Come on. So, uh, Brian, do you want to give a little introduction about yourself or what your deal is or sure. who you are? Uh, like they said, I'm Ryan Lynch. Uh, I know these two characters from uh, my improv days uh, back in college. Uh, and, you know, like the wonderful little leeches they've been, I just haven't been able to get rid of them, you know. In fact, I uh, spread a, a rumor in college that spread like wildfire that our, our good friend Kelly Ryan here had a, a serious flatulence problem. I feel like there are people who have bigger flatulence problems than me. Well, yeah, well, we yeah. didn't say you had the biggest one, but it's definitely a problem. Oh my god. Guys. It was, oh, it was the I only see, yeah, this stipulation is that they... I see the direction this is turning in, and I would like to get started <laughs> with the video, because this is what always happens to me, Third is that somebody... Box. Somebody, all they have started doing is bring up my flatulence and all this stuff, and then I get all heated. I get overheated, which is what's happening right now. That's when the farting starts, <laughs> so you really want to try and avoid that whenever possible. It's a healthy balance between making fun of her and keeping those farts inside. <laughs> it's a dangerous game we play. But Someone's got to do it. Exactly. Can we please get started? Okay, today we're doing three overrated <laughs> things each. It could be person, place, or thing. You guys know the rules to normal games. <laughs> I'm, here to, I'm here to make some people mad. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. Okay, with my first overrated thing. I don't know if this is going to stir up any frustrations within this particular group, but I, I, I'm just tired of hearing about it. Avocados. I almost wrote that down. It's I almost true. wrote it too. I thought it it's, was, I it's, know. It is they not what fine. it's cracked up to be. Let's be honest. A guacamole I can respect. Sure. But I'm, I'm, smashed I, I, I'm being honest, I'm not a big guac <laughs> fan either. Let me be real about it. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge guac fan, but I do say guac over avocado. And I don't trust them. Anything with a, a pit that large is, you know, something's going on and, and they're not being honest Anything with, with us. Anything with a pit like that. They all feel <laughs> disgusting. They, they all do. feel like what an old man, I bet, feels like. They look like dinosaur eggs. <sighs> Kelly, do you want to go next? Sure. Yogurt! I don't, I don't like yogurt that much, and everyone's, <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone's always like, well, have you tried Greek yogurt? It's like, no, no. Ew. And somehow I trust Gogurt more. Oh, for sure. It's the, Which can't it's, be logical. <laughs> no, it's because it's the packaging, okay? It's a gross consistency if it's in, like, that tube, fine. If it's a bucket it kind of, of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It feels like Spaceman food when it's through a tube, whereas, yeah, like, when you're yeah. scooping it out through, like, a little, you know, this bucket, I feel like is a, I mean. It's sad it's, pudding. Think of someone's mouth open with yogurt in it. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you ever <laughs> say that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. My number one is Frosé. I am impartial on it. Also, it, Frosé in the same category as avocados. It's like, it, uh, it, it, you know. I don't feel good in the mornings. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with baking. Uh, I like to say that it is like the red-headed stepchild of the culinary arts. Cut throat. So it's sort of... It's sort of what? Like, you know, Gordon Ramsay, he's going out there, he's cooking all across the board. Baking, I feel like that's what it's like. Mm. I'm going to settle. Cooking? <coughs> oh my god. Well, I also know that baking brings people a lot of joy. Baking does bring people a lot of joy. Have you ever been handed a pastry and gone, oh shit, this made my day worse? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, I think Brian's problem is that he can't bake. Ooh, my number two. Ready for this? Yeah. Chance the Rapper. I know you thought that I was going to disagree with you on this one, but I kind of have to agree these days. I am so happy, actually, that you agree with me. I'm not even mad that I didn't piss you off, because I'll find another way. But That's this, true. <laughs> but this, I am so happy that you've come to realization. Or, I, I, well, I... I'm so happy you're a number one ch Chance the Rapper hater. I mean, it's just whoa, really... Whoa, 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 like, that is, that is I, categorically incorrect. He... 
He's outgrown me, is he, I think what's happened. Well, yeah, but I don't like men in overalls. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Really? I can't wear a lot of overalls. He I'm like, does, oh, but he wears funky overalls. Yeah, yeah but overalls, you're not on a farm. Man. Come on. My number two is putting an egg on everything. And I'm not even talking about it already being on the dish. I'm saying giving the option. Of like, oh, by the way, you can have you an egg. egg. No. That seems like a... No, I disagree with you. you I disagree? Like, I like You egg. like... And they put on the menu, they charge you two or three dollars so for problem, egg. So your problem is the pricing. My problem is these corporations. Oh. So you're... So what's overrated is business models. Is the it man no, imposing egg. his- What food are they putting egg on that you're like, don't put egg on it? French fries. Yes, they're saying bacon, bacon, cheddar, fries, put an egg on it. Who? I saw it on a menu. Actually, I bet that's not terrible. It doesn't sound terrible. I didn't expect it. You're not doing yourself an any favors right fries. now. If you put an egg on- Oh shit, uh, on potatoes. On potato. Yeah, that may backfire pretty hardcore. I know. Looks no, no, like no, we've converted. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, an egg on. Ooh, I'll get him with this one. Avocado toast. Yeah, but that's because avocado. We already no, we established that that is the that's the primary no, you know, it's factor. No, the egg's the problem. Round three. Round three. <laughs> Waffle fries, and not to name names. But specifically Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Waffle fries are not good. It's too much potato. And I would say the th same thing would go for steak fries. It is... Two both. different things! They're two different things! Two different things! Different things. Uh, waffle fries... I mean, you're just wrong. I don't yeah, know what to I'm say. sorry, Ryan. It's okay, because I know the viewers are going to back me up. They're not. Waffle they're not. Waffle fries are overrated. It's a garbage version no, of potatoes. Like, you... The Irish would be... They would be turning in their graves if they knew the Irish that they wanted more they, potatoes. And they, if they knew that they had been bastardized into let, that let, waffle let format, me, they would be furious. Let me ask they're, you something. What's your favorite type of fry? What shape? I take it curly, shoestring, any of them over the waffle fry. The waffle fry is the <laughs> inferior. If you if you get a nice like a bunch of like I like this sort of like crazy shoestring thing where it's not like it's all over the place. You grab it, but it's really like you're grabbing a bunch of them all at once. Nice and salty. You like and potato delicious. sticks. You like Uts potato sticks. No, this is, this is you're <laughs> twisting my words. This is fake news. No. This is fake news no. right here. Oh. <laughs> and in my number three. Margaritas. Mm. I don't know about overrated. Can I drink a lot of them? Not really. I would say overrated. You know what it is? I don't like lime and alcohol. I don't like those two flavors together. I don't like the phrase, let's go get margs. Something about that drops your IQ at least 10 points. So to places in Texas, like it's not too sugary. Out here, they're not trying to give you a lot of alcohol. Yeah. In Texas, so, they're wait, trying wait, to be nice in the liquor. Notes. My issue is not margaritas. My issue, overrated, stingy ass bartenders. That's right. There That's we go. My issue. Okay, now we, get now to we the have bar. a conversation. Right. My number three, loofahs. And here's why. In the shower? Yes. Bacteria. This is it makes that. me feel like I'm a dish. Well, they grow a lot of bacteria. That makes sense. Yeah, that's why I don't like them so either. So do I. Yeah. But they. <sighs> So, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was delightful to be the first guest on uh, Just Talking. I had a blast. Uh, and may even say this may have been the primary reason for becoming to LA. I can neither confirm nor deny, but there's a plausible amount of deniability there. So. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have uh, do you have any where where people can follow you on Instagram or anything yes. like that? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram. I am the Scrat Man. That's T H E S C R A. We'll put it at the bottom. Yeah, we'll put it. At the <laughs> Thank you. I know you're all my viewers now. I would appreciate if you guys would stick with these two as well. I I, I know it's tough when I'm not here, but don't worry. I'm sure it'll get better.